Hi, in this video you will learn how to make Anablox into custom animations. Make sure to like and subscribe because I have enemies that I like to taunt with my success. And I think that's something we can all get behind. Now pay attention, every step is important. This process really does have endless variables, so I'm going to start with the simplest. So for those who don't know, anablocks are pre-recorded movements for digital characters. You literally click, drag, and tell the character what to do, and then just go and do it. It's a huge time saver. Traditional anablocks are extremely adjustable, but sometimes they're just not good enough or they're just not the right thing. For example, I have two Death Troopers from Star Wars, and I need them to walk holding these giant rifles in a very traditional military march. This is a very common animation. It's also something that you would need to apply to multiple characters in multiple different shots. Now, I've made tutorials on how to make minor to moderate changes for Anablox before, but this technique is about making major changes. So the first thing you need to get is a walking cycle. And with this one ready to go, you don't have to worry about the legs moving in a natural way. Arms are inherently easier to animate than legs, just because you want them to move with the floor right. And clearly I unchecked all his armor just to make my life easier. So now that I have about four seconds to work with here, right click in this uh, gray area, then click on Bake to Studio Keyframes. This will make every frame an individual pose. Now press and hold the control key, or command if you're on a Mac. Then click on all the parts that you want to change. In this case, it's going to be the hands, arms, shoulders, and chest. Keep it all highlighted, and then go down to your timeline. And all the body parts you need to work with are all highlighted. Now you need to highlight and delete all these little arrows except for the very first one on frame zero. And you delete them by clicking on this key with the little minus over it. So now that I have all the relevant body parts deselected effectively, you can see the arms don't really move much at all. The hips do. That's what this little sway of the arm is. But the arms and hands are effectively immobilized. Now go back all the way to the first frame, frame zero, and I'm going to pose his arms so that it uh, has a more effective look of him actually holding the weapon with both hands. So now if I did everything right, this hand should move in good concert with the weapon. That actually looks pretty good. Now you notice uh, his feet are still kind of weird. For some reason, Anablox just love to do that. But once I actually save this as its own Anablox, that's the easy fix. So now that everything is completely done, it's actually time to save our work and turn it into a functional anablock. Come back here to where it says Animate 2, and you do need Animate 2 upgrade for this. Animate Light will not save anablocks. So right click here in the gray area, go to Bake to Studio Keyframes again. This will basically solidify everything I've done up to now. Then right click again and go to Create Anablox from Studio Keyframes. And I don't have any scale or morph changes here, but for some reason these save a little easier when you click all four categories. Push Done. I'm going to rename this uh, Death Trooper. Rifle March. Got a name, come over to this little floppy disk looking thing here, left click, save it, 
Now I don't need to close out of Daz to make sure this thing works. What I just need to do is uh, import uh, Genesis character. So I always recommend you have a shortcut to your custom mana blocks uh, just set up on your desktop for convenience. But in case you uh, don't have that yet, here's how you set it up. Go here to Documents, Daz 3D, Studio, My Daz 3D Library, Anablox. And there's the setup. Just do a click and drag. As you can see the two characters move perfectly with each other. So imagine having 10 of these characters all marching in formation. This would save me quite a bit of time. I can actually make it easier to see him. And that's how you do this. If you have any questions or concerns, of course, feel free to ask. If there's any other tutorials you want me to do, again, that's what I'm here for. Like, Subway, and thanks for watching.